Hey, hey, Stuart here from The Talent Equation with another Coaching Hacks 3-Minute Masterclass. Uh, have you ever been in one of those situations where you've uh, getting into that questioning fatigue? You're asking questions, kids, they're sort of not giving you any the, the answers that you're looking for. They feel like they're sort of trying to guess what you're thinking. They're getting a little bit fed up with it. You're finding it hard to uh, think of the right questions. And then you end up just telling them what to do. Well, here's an idea that might just change a little thing. What you do is something called dangle the question. And by what this is, you're not asking them to answer the question for you. You're asking them to show you the answer in what they do. So what you might say in this situation is, what is this game asking you to do? And then they might start to answer, you know, don't answer me, just go and play and then work it out. And then when they come back in, you then say to them, right, what was the question I asked you? Now, sometimes they don't even remember the question. But even if they even if they don't, that's fine. That tells you something. And then you ask it again. They go back and play and then they come back in again. And you say to them, so what was the question I asked you? And when they give you that question back and then you say, right, so what did you notice? It's a follow up question to that question. What is the game asking you to do? Right? What did you notice about your experience? And then from there, they give you, uh, then they're starting to play back to you what they're experiencing. And then you can maybe say to them, well, that's interesting, because when I was watching you play, I saw that too. Or maybe I saw something slightly different. So the idea behind dangling the question is it gives them a little bit of a focus point. So they go out there and play with something to think about. Now, initially, they probably won't do that because they're going to be out there, uh, you know, just playing, you know, they're too excited about the game and all these sorts of things. But before long, when you keep asking that question, you keep bringing them in, asking the question, they start to twig on to the fact that they need to play with something to think about. And then that gives them a bit of a focus and it starts to get them to think about how they might be able to coordinate together or as an individual, how they might be able to solve the challenge that's in front of them. So that's the idea about this. Uh, within this is that rather than asking a question and waiting for answers and then you get this extended huddle period and it's back and forward it all gets a little bit tedious just bring them in and say what is this game asking you to do or what did you notice about that or is there something the opposition are doing and um, what do you notice about what the opposition are doing what do you notice about the way you're communicating is there a different way that you can communicate just give them something to think about when they're playing and then ask them to refer back to that when they come in and they and they uh, and they and they're feeding back to you so that's today's three-minute masterclass. Good luck.